personal story of surviving coronavirus. A father of three from the South Shore on a ventilator for a month is now beginning to recover. His wife says it has been a horrible stretch and that Jim, who's 49, never had any health issues. Now, as Christina Rex tells us, he's headed to rehab after quite a send-off from the hospital. Moments like these bring tears to nurses and doctors' eyes. I'm so happy. <laughs> this video of Hingham's Jim Bellow was taken Wednesday. He's waving to Mass General staff after he was on a ventilator for 32 days with COVID-19. He was in the best shape going in there. The sickness started on March 7th on a ski weekend with family before the stay-at-home advisory. Within a week, Jim was on his way to Mass General to be intubated. Before he went under, he's like, you know, what if I don't make it? And I was like, you're going to make it. Two weeks later, doctors weren't so sure. I asked the doctor, I said, well, do you think he's got a chance? And I was like, I, didn't, I don't think I was prepared to hear what she said. She had to say, but she said, I don't give him a very good chance. I kept thinking, you know, there's no way, there's no way he can leave me with three kids. He's like the best father, best husband. Jim doesn't have any underlying conditions, and despite a grim prognosis as he was supported by machines, doctors started to see signs he could recover. They saw how alive he was inside. You know, 49-year-old guy, you're saying that he may not make it, and he's giving you a thumbs up. We're here, out of the ICU, the Bellow family raising $40,000 so far for meals and support for MGH staff. A thank you for saving Jim's life. That's how much effort and time and heart went into taking care of him. And today, Jim was transferred out of Mass General. He's now recovering at Spalding Rehab. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.